In this video, we will discuss the projection, isometric projection problem number 40. The question is given like this, a triangular pyramid base side 40 mm and height 50 is placed centrally on a, a square slab of size 80 mm and uh, 20 mm thick. Draw the isometric projection of this combination. The first we need to construct the, um, uh, this uh, square slab, uh, the side is the given 80. So go to the, uh, the length angle, the combination can give it 80, enter 30, 80, angle is 150, then 80, angle is minus 150, then 80, angle is minus 30. So after placing this, uh, the thickness they given 20, so go to the one corner and uh, give the, the thickness of 20 and angle is uh, minus 90. And then go to the move option on the copy and select this edge and from the top we can pick it and place it to the remaining corners and then hold the control select the two edges and pick it from the top and place it to the bottom so after that go to the line normal and draw the diagonal line for the midpoint and now the next one is a triangular pyramid the base side 40 so the construction triangle directly we can go to the macros and here inside polygon we can take it and uh, flat length uh, they give on 45, so enter uh, 40, 40, so 40, and then number of sides we can get a 3. Then uh, click it, then we get the a triangle, and then we can make a frame for it, uh, just an extend the line. From it, and we got the frame, and we can give the name is here. This one is, we uh, can give it as a bow. And this one is uh, A, and this one is uh, B, and this one. And uh, name is so this one, corner is one, and uh, two, and this one is three. And then go to the uh, distance between, select this two end length, and distance A or the third six. And this one, uh, actually, this will be 40 because the side thing here, and this is coming exactly at the midpoint. Uh, we can uh, take it as. 40 minutes, it will become 20. And then we'll uh, make a square frame for this. Uh, after getting uh, all the length, we'll construct the square frame. And here the OA will become this side. We can give the, uh, the length uh, 34.64, angle is 30. Then 40, angle is 150. Then again, 34.64, angle is uh, minus 150. Then 40 angle is minus 30. So after finishing the go to line, uh, visible line, we know that uh, before that we can move the namings for our reference. Uh, this is uh, O and this is A and this is B and this one is C. And go to line, visible line, we know that point 1 and 2 coming directly at the point C and O. So we can start it on point 3 is coming midpoint of the AB. So that's why we can take it from here and join the line to the midpoint here and then back to the C and then O. So like this we can make a, a <coughs> base of the, the triangular pyramid. So after that you can uh, delete all the rest of what we made it here. And then go to line, normal line. Draw the medians to get the center point. Draw any two median lines to get the center. So this is the center. And from the center, they given the height of the pyramid is 50. So we enter 50. And angle is uh, 90. And then after that, uh, you can, uh, move it to the downside. Or directly, you can uh, uh, pick it from here, switch off the copy and place it to the midpoint of this. And now, after placing that, you can delete all the reference line what we have made it. And then go to line, visible line. From the apex, draw the slant edges. From the apex to the bottom corner, three corners, we have to join it. Okay, once we join, and you can delete the hidden edges, and you can delete this axis line. And then go to zoom, and zoom the area, and you can go to trim option, and trim the, the portion coming behind this pyramid. So we uh, this all this almost all finished and the the one step is go to scale and select this object and scale down uh, 0 0.814 and enter and the problem is solved. 